You can't fool around. Don't, don't be monkeying around now. And don't lower your hands. Hey, they, they hit you that shot because you lower your hand. You got to keep your hands up. You can't be monkeying around there. You got to throw those strong right hands. He's hitting you the... Wait. Yeah. Come on, Shit. Uh-oh. 25 to nine, baby. Uh-oh. Let's go. We got to get you there, baby. You gonna go there when you go down there. You know where you go. I'm gonna go down there. All right, then. Show me. You did a beautiful last round. Do it again. Okay. You on you, you on the next use the thread. I go right back down. There are the right hands upstairs from Mayweather after the left's downstairs. Mayweather runs across the ring and busts Arena with a leaping right hand. <laughs> says, hey, you back up into the corner and I'll punish you for that. Carlos Arena having some moments here in rounds four and five. Harold, how'd you score through four? Jim, four rounds to nothing, 40 to 34, Floyd Mayweather. He's got to get a 10-7 round for the two knockdowns in the first round. That's why he's ahead by six points. Huge lead for Floyd. You know, when you look for his left, he hits you with his right. When you look for a straight right, he hits you with an uppercut. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is so hard to figure out, so quick and so powerful. So good that he's been having fun in there against Carlos Arena. But as Arena goes more and more to the body, he makes it clear that he's going to punish Mayweather for some of the fun Floyd's having against him. Well, he's tried to punish Mayweather, but I don't think he can really do that. Quick left hook for Mayweather. Arena's already had his victory simply by lasting this long. The rest is just how much punishment he wants to take. Yeah, and this is the situation... We occasionally see where a fighter's courage is going to lead to him taking a lot of punishment over an extended period of rounds. Because Floyd is going to keep hitting Arena pretty much at will. I mean, Carlos had his best round of the fight in the last round, landing 28 of 65 punches. But Floyd Mayweather landed 38 of 53. That's the equivalent of hitting for the cycle. I'll tell you this much, Roy. If his pal, Felix Trinidad, is as tough and rough and determined as Herrera is, uh, he'll be hard to beat oh, most, next week. Most definitely. If he comes in with this attitude, except not getting hit as much as Herrera is, you're right, he'd be very hard to beat. Right hand over the top lands for Mayweather as Herrera resolutely steps forward and tries to attack again. Herrera just doesn't believe in getting out the way of punches. Oh. He's going to eat right hands like that for the rest of the night. Yeah, he just doesn't care. He lo loves to get hit. He'll have some headache tomorrow. You think that after a few rounds of this, a guy's adrenaline is working and it just is almost impervious to pain, Roy? Uh, I don't, yeah, his, his adrenaline may, be, may make him impervious to pain, but it won't make him able to keep maintaining this. He won't continuously be able to take these types of punches without it showing in his legs. Now Mayweather putting on a little dancing show for the crowd, using his footwork to set up punching opportunities. Right. On the road to Mandalay where the flying Mayweather play. <laughs> hey, next Thursday, tune in to HBO's Inside the NFL. Join Lynn Dawson, Nick Bonacati, Chris Collinsworth, and Jerry Glanville as they discuss whether the Broncos can repeat. You'll also see exclusive highlights of the first week of the regular season. It's the show the pros watch inside the NFL every Thursday throughout the season. One of the fellows in Arena's corner there is the former featherweight titleist Wilfredo Vasquez. Here you see Mayweather showing us his stuff, his vast repertoire of punches from all angles. Five rounds of a scheduled 12 in the books. Floyd Mayweather Jr. cruising against Carlos Arena. 
Arena landing more and more in the last couple of rounds, landing particularly to Floyd Jr.'s body, but not slowing down the Mayweather attack as Floyd Jr. continues to land about 70% of his punches by CompuBox numbers. is partially blocked. Floyd thinks he has him now. And Arena's legs are maybe a little stiffer, but he just keeps coming forward. It's, it's abundantly clear that Floyd Mayweather enjoys fighting, that he's having fun in there against an opponent like Arena. Do you think that's rare? Or do you think most good fighters get a kick out of it when they're doing it well? Most good performers like Floyd Mayweather get a kick out of it when they're doing it well. But most guys that are just fighters, they wouldn't be enjoying themselves now because they'd be upset because they're not getting a knockout. Mm -hmm. But a smart guy who is an entertainer at the same time, such as the Floyd Mayweather, knows that this is what he wants. This is a great experience for him. It gives him an opportunity to show his tools. And it's, I mean, it's just good for him. It's a good workout. And eventually you have to keep chopping and chopping and chopping to see if you can chop this old log up. And since uh, his 110-day layoff between fights is the longest of his career and he professes to want to fight four or five times a year and stay active, he probably doesn't mind going a few rounds here. He doesn't. Took lands flush. Right uppercut got in. Another left hook lands flush. Arena pawing with his hands. Not finding any way to really hit Floyd, just trying to put something in the middle. Finally, Arena lands some to the body, and Mayweather laughing as he bounds back and gets into position to fire combinations again. And Arena smiling back at him like, go ahead. <laughs> you having fun? I'm having fun too. He says, take your best shots, and Mayweather does. You got to keep working. You can't be fo fooling around. We, we, we got to keep working. You know what we have to do. Are you listening to me? 